Welcome back. If you're joining us now, I am talking to the radical farmer. Radical farmer, you make farming sound so easy. Is it easy? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. I super easy. Actually, like when you look at the the slogan for the radical farmer, it says organic farming made easy. Yeah, mm. it's it's very easy. It's very easy. Wow, uh, you're doing it out of passion. Yeah, you know. You find pleasure in playing with your with your hands, and I see. I yeah, mean, yeah. we just caught you off the land and say, yeah. hey, "Can we have this conversation yeah. so that you can inspire the young ones?" Yeah. What motivates you to keep doing what you're doing? Because I think you really that uh, farming requires a lot of patience. Yeah. yeah. So maybe before um, on the easy thing. So here's the thing: anything that you see to be hard, anything that seems to be a challenge. It starts right in the mind. Mm. So when you program your mind that what I'm going to do is easy, you make it. So as in for me, I've taken farming on the easy. So and the brain is ready. It prepares the energy equivalent to the task that we're going to do. So right here, I've said, no, farming is super easy. I'm going to be enjoying it and I'm enjoying it. So it's, it's something which starts right here. When you say farming is hard, it will be hard because... Uh, what you program your mind, what you tell your mind, there is a saying which says, uh, whatsoever the mind can conceive, it can achieve. So right here. So when you tell your mind that I'm going to fail, you're going to fail. When I tell my mind that I can cross this lever, I can cross it. You see? When I tell my mind that I can slap you, even when I'm weak, I can, I can do. And you, you know, the funny thing is, when I tell that I'll beat you fearlessly, even if I, you are stronger than me, because you are scared of the... You, you get the point? So like I threatened farming, I said, no, farming, I'm going to deal with you. Then farming, he said, oh, okay, no, you are strong. Yeah. Then I walk over. It's a, it's a done job, yeah. So you've talked about, um, maybe ask the question again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we talked about, you know, you making it easy, uh -huh. you know, and what motivates you, what keeps you going to do this, the, the farming every day. You wake up, play with the soil every single day. So it's, it's what I've seen, what farming is capable of doing. Number one, farming has raised me out of poverty. I grew up from a poverty family. We are 12 in our family, and I'm the third born. So it raised me out of poverty to be someone. You know, I think in, in, in our family, like, I don't know anyone who has, who has ever appeared on the television. So farming has made me appear on the TV. You're not the first TV station, even on radio stations. So, you know, it, it brings joy to my heart. And not only that, um, farming has really helped me help others. You see, like I, I, I feel so happy to make someone happy. Like the workers, when they come here, we work together, they enjoy it. And uh, you, you give them a salary at the end of the day, you see, you see them happy. They are solving their problems. They haven't been able to buy clothes for some time. They buy clothes and they are happy. The community around is saying our place is being developed. So that brings joy to me. I say, no, I don't have to stop doing this thing. And actually, even in, on the international space, you find that... Um, even Zambia is being helped, you see. And um, I see inspiring quite a number of people, youths, old, young and old, and all those things. So it helps me, it energizes me. And you know, I'm, I'm one guy who is willing even to walk alone. I don't care what the majority say. Mm. Like one of the challenges that I faced when I was starting farming, it was the society. Say, no, you can't be a farmer, you know, it's for old people, you can't go to such a mm. place. So it's far, it's far the road is bad. Like actually one of the things we're going to be grading that road very soon because just a grader has got a problem, money from the farm. Mm. You see, we are paving our way, you see, using farming. And I'm very sure that the day I'm going to die, even if I was going to die today, I would have fought at least a good fight. I don't regret the, lay, the years that I've worked in farming because at least I'm going to inspire some people. They'll say, actually, if that guy continued, he was going to do more. more. But just that he died, you see. Mm -hmm. So, but I... If I'm living, then I have to work hard to make my dreams come true. So I, I'm working to leave a legacy and the solutions that I'm able to offer and I'm also able to solve so many problems. Like you see those students who came through, they came all the way from Dora to come and learn organic farming. You see? And they say, no, you actually are inspiring us so much. We want to go and do this uh, for ourselves. And I see when I inspire so many people to start their own farms, it is going to help. Uh, in, in, in the unemployment level and also they're going to be supplying uh, uh, good nutritional food on the table, you see. So that, these are some of the things that really inspire me um, to be a very useful citizen of Zambia and I have to be a very, very responsible citizen of Zambia.